Mr. President-elect, congratulations on choosing this outstanding team of brilliant minds, this economic team. Um, this is the right team for this moment. And to our nominees and appointees, thank you for your continued service to our nation. This is the team we need to deliver immediate economic relief to the American people, to get our economy back on track, and to make sure it works for working people. And as President-elect Biden noted earlier, completing that task could not be more urgent. Cases of COVID-19 are spiking, and beyond the tragic loss of life, the toll of this recession continues to mount. Across America, one in six adults with children say their families are hungry. Janet Yellen talked about food insecurity. This is real. We are looking at a hunger crisis in America right now. One in three adults are having trouble paying their bills, essential bills, the bills that need to be paid at the end of every month to get to the next month. And the number of open small businesses has fallen by nearly 30 percent due to this pandemic, while many others are hoping they can stay afloat until a vaccine is available. These are the struggles, the worries, that keep people up in the middle of the night that have them sitting at their kitchen table past midnight, trying to figure out how they're gonna make it work. But Americans are not united by their worries alone. They are also united by their aspirations. The aspirations they have for themselves, for their children, for their families, and for their community. Because no matter where you live, or what language your grandmother speaks, Everyone wants to be able to get a job and keep a job. No matter what your gender or who you love, everyone wants to be able to buy a home and keep a home. And no matter how you worship or who you voted for in this election, everyone wants to be able to give their children a decent education and allow those children to pursue their dreams, even during a pandemic. And Joe and I understand that. We were raised to respect the dignity of work. We were raised by hardworking parents who always understood the dignity of work and the potential, not only for their children, but of our country. And that's why I've always fought for working people, standing up for middle-class families who'd lost their homes in the Great Recession. Um, Wally, you, you talked about that. Families in California were devastated, but they were able to rely on their government and the leaders, as Joe always talks about, who needed to see their condition and speak to that condition. And that's the work that needs to happen now. And I look forward to collaborating with this extraordinary team to put working people front and center in our administration. These public servants are some of America's most brilliant minds. They are proven leaders whose talents, achievements, and life stories, their life stories reflect the stories of the American people, and their stories reflect the very best of our country. And they not only have the experience, the expertise, and what is necessary to help end this economic crisis, but also what is necessary to put people back to work. And they also share in our commitment to building an economy, an America, where everyone has access to a higher minimum wage and affordable health care, paid family leave and paid sick leave, home ownership and capital to start a small business. An America where opportunity is within reach for everyone, for all the people. So we've got a lot of work to do to build that America, and as Joe always says, to build back better. And President-elect Biden and I, together with this economic team, will be ready to hit the ground running on day one, because that is what this crisis demands, and that is what the American people deserve. Thank you.